Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulents. And for today, pag-uusapan natin ang ating mga succulents and fungicides. As we know, yung ating succulents come in all shapes, colors, and sizes, but all of them could possibly develop na itong ating mga fungal infections, especially that they are already out of their natural habitat. Sa kanilang natural na living conditions, they are used to live dito nga sa ating mga dry na climate. But here in the Philippines, it's too humid or mataas yung moisture level natin and because of that one it is something that our succulents are still struggling to handle madami tayong klase ng mga fungi and yung surface fungi is one of those that is easy to notice and to treat kasi madali silang makita and that is something i wanted to show you kasi dito sa ating indoor setup ito yung ating mga succulents under grow lights and I noticed na one of them is already experiencing some parang white mold sa kanyang leaf and I will be showing that to you. Hindi siya masyadong makita under our grow light. So let's try to go sa rooftop for you to see what's happening dito sa ating succulent na ito. Masyadong kulob doon nga sa ating indoor setup ng ating grow lights. And since there is a poor air circulation, nagkaroon nga tayo nitong ating mga fungal infection like what you can see here. So yung nakikita nyo parang mga white na mga powder na nandyan, ayan na nga yung ating powdery mildew. And gustong gusto nga nila yung ating mga warm and yung medyo humid na living conditions for them to thrive and survive. It might look like yung typical na white and powdery coating and mukha siyang harmless but eventually this could harm our succulents as the infection spreads and gets worse. We might notice na ma-damage na or ma-deform na yung kanyang leaves. In severe infections, we might be expecting na malalagas na yung kanyang leaves or eventually hindi na siya magkakaroon ng flower and eventually die. So if we won't be removing this doon sa ating area, it might infect nga yung ibang mga succulents. Kaya we always need to check nga yung ating mga succulents from time to time, especially sa panahon ngayon na medyo maulan. And at the same time, mataas yung humidity level. So, dito sa rooftop, medyo mahangin naman. Maganda yung air circulation. Kaya, I always prefer na nandito lang sa taas yung ating mga succulents. But we already made some experiment before. I will be showing to you the effects of fungal infection to our succulents. If you won't be treating them, then ganito yung mangyayari sa kanila. We have here six different kinds of succulents na intentionally pinabayaan natin talaga sila so that we can easily see the effect of fungal infection sa kanila. So let's start with our chroma. It's really heavily infested. So may kita nyo yung kanyang dahon. It's not really in good condition. And ang dami nang nalagas nito. Probably if you won't be treating this, then lahat ito malalagas. We will try to spray fungicide sa kanya mamaya. But we are not sure if we can still possibly save it. Although you have to remember na yung mga ganyan, yung parang marks or anything na damage sa kanyang leaves are irreversible. Hindi na natin siya maagapan. Even if we spray fungicide sa kanya, yung mga scars or kung ano man nangyari sa kanyang leaves would be permanent. We might just be expecting na yung mga bagong new leaf growth dito sa kanyang pinakaroset would be better as compared dito nga sa kanyang mga old leaves that is or that was already infested. We also have here our banana. Ayan. So, as you can see, the presence of yung ating fungal infection sa kanya. And you notice, ang dami ng natanggal na leaves. Slowly, naglalagas na yung kanyang leaves as a result nga of these fungal infections since we are not treating it yet. And eventually, if we continuously ignore this, then talagang mamamatay na siya. We also have this Echeveria that is... Ayan no, this is not the farina anymore. Those are fungal infections. Ayan. So, same thing here. We have our Sidivera jet beads. Even yung kanyang new offsets are already infested. So if we won't be treating this, then dire-direcho lang yung infection na mangyayari sa kanya. May mga new offsets pa man din siya, kaya we need to treat this right away. Itong Adolfi na ito, bagong-bago lang din yung kanyang infection. But still, we didn't treat it yet. So, as we can see, kung ano nga bang itsura niya in different succulents. So, 
So you would really see na may problema itong ating mga succulents na ito and they need immediate na treatment and later nga we will be using uh, fungicide and you would see ito usually yung ginagamit na mga fungicide ng ating mga local na farmers or growers not only for succulents but also for mga ornamental plants like yung mga roses yung mga Malaysian mums ito yung ginagamit namin na pang spray since it's already tested and proven to treat nga also for prevention kaya we will be using this the next thing that we need to do is ayan siya. so pag may mga ganito lang siya we can simply remove nga yung mga infected na leaves para hindi na siya kumalat then right after we will now start the application of our fungicides and yun nga yung ituturo ko sa inyo maya maya we also have here some of our succulents na healthy i just try to gather a few of them for you to see and even if na healthy sila we also need to spray fungicides on them as part of our maintenance since you always keep on saying that prevention is always better than treating yung ating mga fungal infection. Sa part 2 nitong video na to, I will be showing to you how we can prepare our fungicides and how we can properly spray it on our succulents. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.